Hey, Forever Runners. So it looks like it's time to trade in these old shoes. Now, I know people usually recommend that you turn in your shoes around 500 miles, but I've got a little over 800 miles on these bad boys. Uh, these are ultra uh, Cayantes. And I've been through a couple pairs of these and I really like them because they have, um, for a zero drop shoe, a low stack height and and they're pretty burly for for a training shoe but um they don't make them anymore and so i just picked up these escalante racers and i want to tell you a little bit about these bad boys so hang on and uh, let me go go through these things hi i'm herb the forever runner I'm a heart attack survivor, ultra runner, and online running coach. And I use my Forever Method running program to help runners in their 50s, 60s, and 70s effortlessly run faster without pain or injury. So today I wanted to, uh, to, to give a, a, a review of the Escalante Racer by Ultra. So for, first of all, um, the reason why I prefer Ultra shoes is, is that uh, they have basically what we call a zero drop. That is the stack height between the midfoot and the heel is the same. So, so they're not uh, tilted forward like most running shoes and really most of, of your um, uh, everyday walk around shoes. Uh, and they also have a, a wide toe box, which allows your foot to naturally spread out, which again, most running shoes and most shoes you wear daily don't have that. And this is, this is why uh, this is important is um, when, when you're, when you're a kid, you, you can, you know, kids run very naturally, uh, and they have a very efficient shape, uh, or gait. And once you start wearing shoes and sitting and working your way up, uh, into working all the time, and you're, you're constantly wearing these shoes with a higher heel, uh, you basically end up shortening your Achilles tendon. And your Achilles tendon is the key factor in getting that spring back on your running stride. So it's, it's to me, it's, it's real important to maintain the actual natural length of your Achilles tendon. So that's why uh, I recommend that you walk around barefoot as much as possible for your shoes that you wear to work or around the home, that they are zero drop. They, they don't have heels on them. And once you're used to that, then you should transition into zero drop running shoes and, uh, and take advantage of that natural length of your Achilles tendon and, and the spring back you get from it. So, so the cool thing about the Escalante racers is, is that they are tailor-made for people who have an efficient stride. That is, uh, your, your foot lands underneath your body um, when, when you're running. If you're somewhat of a heel striker, uh, you're not going to like this shoe because it doesn't have much cushioning on it. And, but if, if you're an efficient runner and, and you like the uh, feel the ground, this is a great shoe. It is, it is a, 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 a low stack height with like 22 millimeters. And what, what that means is uh, you, you can actually feel the ground more. And I, I would characterize these shoes as um, firm. They've got um, uh, 
they've got a, a very shallow tread design and uh, honest, honestly, maybe not the best thing for running in the wet uh, as far as traction goes. Uh, I'll find out, I live in the Northwest here, but, but these things really give you the feel of the ground. And uh, that, that, that helps build all those tiny muscles in your foot and ankles to respond to the train better and to be stronger for your running. The real surprising thing for me on this shoe uh, was that it's very lightweight. It's about an ounce lighter than the normal uh, Escalades and, and, and my old shoes. Um, and on the top, uh, the mesh is huge. I mean, there's huge holes here. And when you put these on, you can actually see your socks through the shoe. And I went, oh boy, this, this isn't going to work. But the, the surprising thing is this mesh is actually not that flexible. And I would characterize it as, as firm. So when you put your foot into this and lace it up, it really locks you into the heel in the shoe. I mean, you can't pull these things off. Um, and uh, come, to, come to find out that this mesh has great support because it's, it's made for taking corners and stuff while you're racing. So I would, I would characterize this shoe, number one, the, the sole being firm and the upper mesh being firm, which is pretty wild when, when you, it's got such big holes and you can see your socks through it. But um, the benefit of that is uh, in the warmer weather, your, your foot's going to stay cool because there's tremendous breathability with this shoe. The other thing you'll, you'll, uh, you might find surprising is the, the tongue here is, is very skinny. There, there's no cushioning on, on the tongue. So if you're one who cinches down your laces, you're, you're going to feel that. On, on the on the top of your forefoot, so so kind of kind of be aware of that. Um, all all in all, I, I've been out uh, running on these just a couple of times, and they feel fantastic. Uh, like I said, uh, they they give you a good feel for the ground. Uh, they're they're very lightweight, and uh, I'm. I'm super excited for using these for basically marathon uh, marathon training on the roads uh, that I do, and I I would I would say that if you're a, if you have a very efficient gait uh, and you're you're looking for some ground ground contact feel, uh, this is a fantastic shoe and I highly recommend it. So, um, so go check that out. If, if you want to learn how to have an efficient gait uh, to be able to use a, a shoe like this, uh, give, you know, get in touch with me. I'd love to hop on a call and, and, and talk. So um, look, look down below in the description where you can get a hold of me and uh, we, can, we can talk about efficient running gait. See you in the next one.